everybody tries to be the same. Mm -hmm. Everybody sees one photo and then 100,000 others come That's in, what I've come been in looking too. exactly the same. The same poses. Like if you see one that, that does really well for yeah. one photographer and yeah. they're being creative and out of the box and different, then everyone tries to mimic that to achieve the same results as opposed to yeah. coming up with their own yep. concepts. I think everything original now is either a stroke of genius mm -hmm. or an accident. Page show today. I am joined with photographer Brenda North. Happy to be here. Wow. Welcome to my show. Oh my god. So, how did you get into photography? The way I see myself sort of coming to it, because it all happened very quickly um, in terms of social media, but it was sort of a build up through my whole life where I grew up in a very picturesque town in Massachusetts, um, five minutes away from the beach, and you know, with, like as soon as I had a picture phone, like a yeah. little flip phone that had a little camera, I was Can down. You take the, photos? Yeah, I was down on the beach taking pictures of it. And my town, Duxbury, has, I believe this is a fact, the longest wooden bridge in America. Really? Yeah, it's a full half mile long, and it's all wow. completely made of wood, and it's really beautiful to take pictures of. Yeah. And I would all, everybody in my town would try to take pictures of it, yeah. um, but I always prided myself on taking the coolest pictures of it. Like, and I then, got the best yeah, shot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then I went to college um, for something completely different. What'd you go to college for? I studied international affairs and environmental science. Wow. Yeah. What were you planning on doing with that? Saving the world, you know? <laughs> got to do it, right? Yeah. Someone's got to do it. No, I wanted to work on sustainable development in uh, developing countries. Super awesome. And I still want to work with that, yeah. but photography sort of took precedence when I sort of fell in love with it, like head over heels during college. Yeah, yeah eventually I s borrowed my roommate's camera in college, started taking a little bit better pictures, yeah. met a wedding photographer in DC at a bar. I actually hit on her and she, really? she promptly introduced me to her fiance. Um, She's like, hey, <laughs> actually engaged, Please. but. But we started talking about photos yeah. and I showed her some of my recent ones of yeah. random people in the streets of DC and she said, you know, you have an eye, um, come to my place, I live with a model, mm -hmm. let's take pictures. And she handed me a Canon 5D Mark III. Mm -hmm. um, no, it was actually a Mark II. It was Which a Mark II. Like she a had the Mark deal. III in her hands, I had a Mark II. Um, Especially for back then, you know. Oh my goodness, it was like so insane. It was like my first really professional camera. Camera, yeah. And I like took a few photos and I was hooked. I was You're like, like yep. This is what I need to be doing for the rest of my life. Yep. That's exactly. so awesome. So you're around a lot of models. You shoot a lot of models. Um, who would be your dream model to work with? I've been asked this before. Um, a lot of people like asking me this. Yeah. But not in an interview setting. Um, <laughs> I would love to shoot with Emily Ratajkowski. I think oh, she's beautiful. She's so stunning. Yeah. Like any angle, any position, like anything. Like you yeah. could get her to look gorgeous. Totally. And you can get Just super like creative naturally with beautiful. her because like. You could do crazy makeup, you could do crazy outfits, and everything yeah. will end up looking like a piece of fine art. Yeah. Like, Emily, Emily, when you yeah. see <laughs> this, check out Brendan North. Yeah, hit me up. My DM is Slide waiting. Slide in the DMs. It's been there for two years. Contact info and bio. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, question. Mm -hmm. On the real though, are you single? I'm single. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's single. I think we need to find him a girlfriend. Oh boy. Should we find him a girlfriend? Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. So I'm gonna hold up two photos of eligible bachelorettes okay and you're gonna pick one or the other okay and then we'll go through them and okay. find your winner all right future and wifey we, we narrow it down that way yeah okay are you ready and this after the game is over i have to call them right obviously okay perfect they have to call you too <laughs> okay all call right. you back <laughs> call me maybe okay bachelorette number one vanessa morgan <laughs> love her bachelorette number two Alexis Wren. Oh God, that that was right off the bat. Right off the bat. I'm not making this easy on you. No. They're all eligible, beautiful, page approved, <sighs> stamp of approval bachelorettes. Yeah, wow, okay. Only um, the best. I know Vanessa pretty well. Yeah. Love her as a friend. As a friend, she got friend zoned. A little bit. Um, I feel like she friend zoned me first though. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah, back Fish when we met, it was, I feel, it was like, like, oh, I feel like I got hey, friends on. Hey, buddy, let's yeah. go film a let's, Halloween yeah. video. Did you, yeah, that was, that was definitely a thing. Before yeah. she was the Vanessa the Morgan. The Vanessa Morgan, <laughs> Riverdale <laughs> yep. star. Back in the day, the Halloween video. You met her through me, my birthday party. Did. Yes, oh my God, it was at your birthday party. You know? That's how I met Vanessa. Yep. Wow. That Crazy. was a full... Two years ago. Two years ago. When is your birthday? Well, almost two years ago. September. September. So yeah, coming up on two years. Ah! But I've had a crush on Alexis for the last, I don't know how long has she been on social media? <laughs> four years? <laughs> for the last like, four years of his life. So we're yeah. going with Alexis? Yeah, I feel like we're okay. done. Honestly, it's that one. No, nope. <laughs> we have other eligible bachelorettes. Okay. All right. Oh my goodness. Haley right. Baldwin yep. or Alexis Ren? She was uh, Maxim's hottest girl in the world. Like, She's last been on year. the cover of like every magazine. She has. She's she was, gorgeous. She was number one last year for Maxim. And I think I agree with them. Yeah. Um, I'm going to switch to Haley. And you thought you were going to stick I, with I Alexis. Did. Sorry. <laughs> See? Can never trust yeah. the first one. Gigi Hadid you or really, Haley. You really went. You know my type. I think that's what it is. You like blondes. I do like blondes. Model girls. <laughs> yep. Um, I actually went through who you were following on Instagram oh and selected my from goodness. there. Yeah, so. I follow every single one of these. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like most of America does. I feel like... Most of the world does. I feel like both of them have very powerful love interests currently. I don't know if that's a thing right they now. They do? Sean, Sean Mendez, maybe? That's a... They're friends, okay. right? Okay, that's a maybe. They're friends. Gigi. Gigi is not with Zayn anymore? No, single now. Mm. They're both available. Yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm willing to fight. I'm, I'll fight you, Sean. I will. For Haley? For, for Haley, yep. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we're going with Haley. Yeah. Okay. Kendall Jenner or Haley? Um, so, okay, here's a caveat. After Emily Ratajkowski, Kendall would be second on the list of who I want to take photos of. Okay. So but she terms, would be dream model. Dream model, yep, to take pictures Kendall, of. Kendall, slide in the DMs as well. Yeah. Brendan's an the amazing photography. photographer. Yeah. Um, he won't hit on you because he's in love with Haley. Yeah. So win-win. Yeah, we'll go with Haley. <laughs> wow, answer. look at this. Yep. You guys make a cute couple. <laughs> <laughs> I ship it. Yep. Haley hit him up. <laughs> Call him maybe. That was a good game. You picked good ones. Right? Yeah, yeah, like that was. Those were good. Top, I wasn't gonna give you anyone eight. that didn't deserve you. Yep. So we killed that. You could, you could be a matchmaker for real. If I, the, sh I should. If the interview show doesn't work out, the next show is like matchmaking with Paige. Bachelorette 2.0, Bachelor 2.0, and I'll take Chris Harrison's job as the host, and I'll just host that. Perfect. Love. He's about <laughs> done anyways. It's yeah, like, he should retire. It's, your <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> so hopping back into the interview. You grew to almost 1 million followers on social media. Mm -hmm. How has social media changed and shaped the world of photography? The barriers to entry of photography used to be a lot higher than they are now. Yeah. Um, because now you can be absolutely nobody. You can have literally an iPhone. Yeah. And you can make it big on Instagram and all of a sudden be a well-known photographer. Yeah. Whereas back in the day, you needed <laughs> some big camera. Yeah. Um, you needed to know um, the right people. You had to have all yeah. these connections to make it in the photography industry. It was a very exclusive community, mm -hmm. um, at least at a certain level it yeah. was. And there below, those, like, below select that, select few. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But now you can just blow the doors off with a nice photo on Instagram and all of a sudden people know who you are. Yeah. So that's an exciting thing that has come out of social media for photography. Mm -hmm. Um, which is exactly how I made it Yeah. Um, to where I am right now. It allowed me to have a voice even though I knew nobody in the industry getting mm -hmm. here besides Paige. Um, <laughs> Yours truly. <laughs> but that's a positive. Um, but there are a lot of negatives that mm -hmm. uh, photography has brought, in, brought into that uh, photography world where everybody tries to be the same. Mm -hmm. Everybody sees one photo and then hundred thousand others come That's in, what I've been come in looking too. exactly the same the same it's poses like if you see one that that does really well for yeah. one photographer and yeah. they're being creative and out of the box and different then everyone tries to mimic that to achieve the same results as opposed to yeah coming up with their own concepts yep. i think everything original now 
is either a stroke of genius mm -hmm. or an accident. Yeah. I, I don't know, I've, I've believed that about photography for a long time. You either literally have to like be hit by like an absolute miracle of an idea yeah. to have something that's genuinely new um, mm -hmm. or you have to do it by accident. Yeah. <laughs> literally. Just I think like, that's so spot on. Yeah. Because um, it's so, I feel like the photography world is so saturated right now. It is. Um, it is. It definitely There is, is this like. Instagram has definitely saturated the... Another question I have for you is, do you think people are picking up cameras to grow reasons? a social media following as opposed to picking up a camera for the art of it? Yes, absolutely. There are so many kids moving to Los Angeles right now yeah. that don't care about making you know, mm -hmm. art. They mm -hmm. don't care about that. Yeah. They care about like, like the lifestyle that hey, comes with making and, it on yeah. Instagram. Mm -hmm. They see people that have, you know, had a little bit of success mm -hmm. in Los Angeles and they see the way they live. Yeah. And they see the fame, the money that comes with it, and that's what they want. Mm -hmm. And they think ha picking up a camera is the way to get there. Yeah. Um, I wish it was the other way around because I, I went. I started for the art of it, right? And mm -hmm. then I started gaining a lot of followers and I felt that like little yeah. bit of power. Mm -hmm. And I started sort of, I don't wanna say selling out, but I started shooting yeah. for Instagram to yeah. please an audience instead of to please myself. I feel like it's myself. so easy to get sucked into that. Very, I mean, I have, I easy. think like, it's just very easy to do. Yeah. And I think the cool thing is when you can see that that's happened and admit that you did that and then you're like oh okay well like how do i change and shape yeah. that into like something that takes me to a more creative level and get back to where i started you know i recently started coming back to that mm -hmm. um like the roots like i want to create images that i'm really proud of yeah um and then i'm happy to put my name on totally whereas for a few months there i just I was doing it for the likes. Mm -hmm. I really was. Um, and I think you you came out with the painted series. Yeah. Which is. So that's my that's my answer. Can you tell me a little bit about these photos? So the series came about um, sort of. I love writing and I yeah. love photography Definitely. and I didn't know how to combine them. I've seen. I used to follow these um, movie. Instagrams yeah. where they would sh have these like still frames from movies and uh -huh. then they'd have like the subtext below them Yeah, um, basically captioning them mm -hmm. uh, Which was really cool this account called Jurassic and another one I think was like 90s film yeah. all of these there are a ton of them yeah. that Screen grab movies uh -huh. with subtitles and it's really cool because you're getting like a quote and like the emotion on the actor's At face the same time. and that sort of inspired me to start a series um, where I combine my words and mm -hmm. my photos. Yeah. And the coolest way I thought of was to actually put the words on the models. Yeah. Um, and express an idea or an emotion through the words that mm -hmm. is reflected in the photo. Yeah. Um, so yeah. And I think that's great. It's so creative and different. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen them, they're so awesome. Go check them out on Brendan's Instagram. I think they're beautiful. And it's something that's just like out of the box and original, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, Thank like you. you don't really see that often. Thank you. And I've seen you do like poetry type stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of the Which photos in captured. the painted series are either a word or a phrase mm -hmm. that gets painted on them is from one of my poems. Awesome. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. I really do enjoy it. And I think it's, it's an amazing way to kind of like shift gears, I guess, yeah. in a sense. Yeah. Super cool. I was I was fed up with creating images that I feel like everybody else was making. Yeah. Um, just the boring photos. Yeah. And I wanted to try to break out from that. Totally. Yeah. So who would you say is your biggest inspiration when it comes to photography? So obviously those accounts that captioned the movies. Yeah, that definitely. was that was cool for the painted series mm -hmm. and the idea of a series. Um, came from Mario Testino's towel series. Yeah, um, incredible, it's, it's unbelievable, he's shot yeah. everybody in a towel. I think yeah. that's the coolest thing ever. And it's so simplistic. Um, it's so simple and it's so beautiful like, and all these photos face, are just, like, just very clean natural and clean. natural. And that's the goal with the painted series. Eventually I wanna paint something on everybody. Yeah. 
um, Kendall, Emily, all of them, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I'd love to have this series go as long as his towel series has gone. Yeah. So I think he's incredible. But if I'm throwing it back to like original inspirations on style and um, like where I'd love to see my career go mm -hmm. would be, it's, I feel like it's just so obvious, but Helmut yeah. Newton. Yeah. Um, like the creative genius of photography. Right. Like when you look at his stuff, it's like, oh, that's how that photo is supposed to be done. Yeah. You know? Definitely. Like, totally. It's all brilliant original ideas. Nobody was doing what he was doing. Yeah. Um, he got super racy with it. Very exciting photos. Yeah. Um, and he wasn't afraid. He wasn't afraid of what people would think. think he would yeah. just shoot what he thought was cool. But that, um, that's the best thing about art is yeah. that art isn't necessarily a good reaction or bad reaction, it's just to evoke emotion. Yeah. And sometimes the emotion isn't like, oh my God, I love it. Yeah. Maybe it makes you feel like anxious. Maybe it makes you feel like yeah. nervous or excited or like I, yeah. weirded out. Exactly. Look at modern art, a you know? Of, yeah. But at the same time, it's just to create that, like get a reaction out of someone, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just want to say to any young photographers out there, I would love if you looked up Helmut Newton and took some inspiration from him because the stuff that everybody's putting out on social media doesn't hold a candle to what photographers used to be able to do in terms of creativity and I think even if you just take the idea of originality from where he was coming from yeah I think it would just improve the whole community on Instagram yeah 100% um, Thank you so much for coming on my show. Thank you so this much for so having fun. me. This Everyone, is fun. be sure to check out Brendan's social media. It will all be linked in the bio. Give this video a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. Bye guys.